So Vicky, your impressions of the first day? So today we've been to the Sea of Galilee um, and for me, you know, even though I'm sort of older than 50 now, it's changed all my perception of what I thought the Sea of Galilee was like. So all the images that I had as a child of Jesus being by the Sea of Galilee, that's, that's changed for me now. And um, yeah. Well, this uh, has been a remarkable time. Um, a lot of the things that have been scripture have been maybe theoretical, have just become real. I mean, we've now walked into the Galilee, Sea of Galilee. We've uh, touched a lot of things. We've seen a lot of them. Now, when I think about it, that Jesus may have just walked over from that valley just along the shore to here, and he may have stood on, well, he did stand on this on this beach to, to shout over to, to Peter. It, it's just amazing. It, it, it makes you live through that. So if that was the first day, I, I can't even think of what the remaining few several days will be. So looking forward to it. Well, I wasn't sure what to expect when I came. And I'm finding that just being in the presence um, uh, yes. of the footsteps of Jesus is just mind blowing, actually. I mean, the highlight of the day for me has to be coming down here and paddling, but also standing in the synagogue and just reliving that story and seeing all the ancient ruins and actually bringing the gospel to life. That's what today did for me. It opened the eyes of the word of God and just brought it to life. So when I hear the gospels or when I read from now on, it will never be the same. I'll be here, although I'll be in England. So I thank God that I'm here today. So Sheila, end of the first day, we're here by the Sea of Galilee. What's been your impression so far? Absolutely more than I could ever have expected to feel like walking in the footsteps of Jesus, literally understanding the history, feeling the culture of the place, seeing the surroundings, um, just overwhelming actually. Um, privilege to be here and can't believe there's actually more of this to come. Absolutely wonderful. Well, what a day we've had. It's been full, it's been emotional, it's been deeply revealing of how deep faith is in all of us. We've stood literally in the footsteps of Jesus. We've listened to his words afresh. And I think every single person in this group has been touched by the grace, the joy, the remarkable, remarkable richness. We stood on the Mount of Olives and saw the triangle between Tampka and Kafanam and the Mount of Beatitudes. The, that triangle where Christianity was born, where Jesus called and formed his first disciples. And here are we, 2,000 years later, following in those footsteps with a similar joy and conviction and love for the Lord. What a wonderful day we've had.